We're here at the Lunara Connect, and uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Elsie Wallig, and I'm with Qualcomm Data Center, and I'm holding up the Qualcomm Centric 2400 processor um, reference evaluation board. So this is the Qualcomm ARM server. This is the 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 it's going to be very powerful ARM server from Qualcomm. Yes, this is um, the Qualcomm Centric 2400 um, server processor, which concludes 48. Uh, server cores and uh, so it's a nice big uh, processor right here with a whole bunch of RAM slots or what's yes. going on around here? Yes, this, um, the Qualcomm 2400 supports DDR4 and uh, this particular board has uh, 12, DIMM, 12 DIMM slots. And uh, with some PCI over here? Yes, yes, those boards that you see there are riser boards to for fully customizable um, configurations. Potentially networking, fast networking, something like that? Yes, this is a fully PCIe Gen 3 compliant. Um, this board is a half form factor, half width form factor board that fits into um, an open compute uh, uh, chassis. This one of them over there? Yes. And, uh, so this is a, this is a custom uh, Qualcomm ARM cores, right? They're called a FAL core? Yes. Yes, the file cores are a custom Qualcomm design. It's uh, fully RMV8 uh, compliant, ARCH64, 64-bit. Um, it is also SBSA level three uh, compliant. So this is going to be very, very, very interesting in the months to come, right? Yes. It's going to get very interesting. Can, can we walk over there and see Absolutely. Where, how, Let's where, do where that. it fits in? Yes. So uh, there's a demo right here of... Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, what are we looking at here? It's basically it's in there. Yes. So one of these boards fits into into half of this slot. So it's on, on the half of there. Yes. What's the other half? Can you bring it. Bring the board. So. So one of these boards fits into half of this, and okay. uh, this particular reference server chassis can accommodate up to two of these boards, one on this side and one on the other. And what's the other space for? Uh, the other space is for drives, and if you have a system with just one board, you can um, have a lot more storage on the other side. And this is the standard for the industry of servers, this kind of uh, uh, so size? This is, this is um, our OCP uh, compliant form factor. All right. And then we're going to be checking out some of the demos that are being uh, running on, on here. Um, and at the Linaro, uh, so what you mean working on at the Linaro? to get this to bring it up and get things to work? So this week at Lenaro Connect, I've been working with the ARM team who has been uh, working on some demos. Uh, so they're gonna tell you about these now. And uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Ganesh. Um, I'm the tech lead for the big data team at uh, Lenaro. And we have a demo that's going on here on Elasticsearch today running on the Qualcomm uh, hardware. So it's actually running on real uh, server right over here, Qualcomm server. What are you going to show here? Hi, uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Jun He. I'm from Shanghai ARM team. Work, uh, we are working on the big, big data activities, and we set up this for we enable and port a lot of uh, big data components to ARM platform. So today we are going to show the Elasticsearch stack. Cool. So uh, the, the demo is, uh, what does it mean about, about this, this so one? Elasticsearch is one of the big data tools. Um, so it's in short, we call it ELK, Elastic uh, Search Log Stats and Kibana. And what we are doing here is a demo on a disastrous data uh, uh, that shows various disasters that happen in, the, in, in all over the world. Uh, starting from 2000, um, we collected the flood data um, hurricane data and earthquake data and put it in here and uh, Juno is going to show the demo. So, this is the Kibana? Yeah, Kibana. So how does it work? Uh, the log stash collects the data from the bar source and parse it and transform the data to the uh, what kind of the Elasticsearch wants and then we set up different uh, query conditions to uh, filter the data from Elasticsearch, and it's going to use a very good uh, visualization. This time we are going to use the heat map. All right. We'll be going to sit down there. Okay. And then 
So this is right now run, running on containers, three different containers that yes. is running on it. It's going to show. So, so this is visualized data, uh, real time running on the server? Yeah. Yes. Yes, this shows all the earthquakes that happen all over the world uh, from a different, uh, from starting from 2000 uh, until 2016. All over the world. Yeah, yes, all, all over the world. world. It, it just took a second to, to visualize this. Yes. All right. So this has three components, like we said: Elasticsearch, Logstress, and Kibana. Logstress gets this data, and uh, we use that to massage it and Kibana is used to visualize it. Because uh, uh, the Qualcomm solution is going to be uh, for cloud computing, right? It's going to be for all kinds of uh, processing in the cloud? Right, now what we are demoing here is more of a big data solution. Big data solution. Yes. Right. You have uh, some more? Yeah, we also have the Hurricane, and we have Hurricane, and we have Cloud. This is a hurricane which happened in the Ocean. And you can see they have the They all go to uh, the Caribbean yes. and Florida. Yes, yeah. that's the pattern that comes, you know, if, you know, it comes mostly from the African countries, African continent, towards the U.S. And that's the pattern most of the hurricanes happen. Mm -hmm. All right. So this just demonstrates uh, the direction of the stuff that you're working on. This is one of the stuff that we were working on as part of the big data uh, team. And we are working on a lot more. Uh, Arm and Linaro is collaborating yeah. on, um, on all kinds of big data. We are part of uh, Apache Big Talk. We are part of ODPI as well, where we work on Hadoop, Spark, and quite a few components. And we've been working on um, upstream. We've been quite, uh, uh, you know, upstreaming quite a lot of patches to that yeah. as well. And you have another demo over there? Yes. Uh, uh, so yes. over here? Uh, this is uh, the big data uh, team's yeah. demo. Yes. Yes. All right. Cool. And uh, what are you showing over here? Hey. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Yeah. So who hi, are you? Hi. Uh, my name is Dennis. I work, uh, work at uh, ARM and uh, focus on the enterprise software uh, ecosystem. Uh, today, I would like to do the Linux kit demo on ARM64 server uh, with the uh, help of uh, Qualcomm platform. So it's running at the same time on the same server over there, the yeah, same Qualcomm? The same server. This is Qualcomm server uh, right here? Yeah, this is a uh, Qualcomm server. And uh, uh, first, uh, I want to give uh, a brief introduction yeah. of the demo. It's a, a Linux kit uh, on ARM64 server. And uh, you, you can see uh, this is a traditional uh, Linux distribution. And this is a, a, a Linux kit distribution. Uh, comparing with the, the uh, traditional Linux distribution, we can see that uh, uh, the Linux kit is based on the container, and we can custom customize the, the final uh, Linux kit system. The system, right? So, so you can see that uh, we can customize the system and build you your own Linux distribution on demand. And uh, also, it's a uh, uh, lightweight and uh, uh, with a small footprint in megabytes. And uh, we, we, we also have, have the benefit uh, about uh, uh, resource isolation with the container. You know? And uh, we, we also, uh, uh, the system is very simple because we, we uh, have no redundant service, uh, services in the system. And it's fast. Uh, yeah, we fast. And this this is the standard uh, for the for the virtual server kind of industry. Ah uh, yeah, it's becoming maybe. Ah uh, yeah, I think this is a, is a trend for the uh, container uh, technology, and it's uh, about the microservice. And uh, what are you showing here, running on it? Ah uh, yeah, well, we 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 can uh, show the yeah. uh, this kit. Uh, yeah. This kit is run. Yeah. Running on a uh, Qualcomm server. Can you so show us? Yeah, something? yeah, yeah. Of course. All right. So we can. Uh, let me show you.
Uh, we will, uh, already built the final uh, Linux, distribu uh, Linux kit distribution. Now we can run the system. Sorry, uh, we need to. Uh, oh, we, we need to uh, kill another. Yes. So. Um, now we can run the run the Linux kit system. We can focus on the screen. How long time does it take? Yeah, yeah, it, it's very very fast. Uh, it, it, you have the system boot very fast. So it's booting. Yeah, it's. I need to share. That's it. Yes. Five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Five seconds. Second. second. Yeah. And uh, that's very quick. That's and, very. Uh, we we have a, a small um, microservice uh, in in, the, uh, in this system. You can see that uh, we have a uh, ngx service uh, sandboxed in in the container. So we can also access this service uh, from outside. This is the IP address of the Linux kit. So we can use this IP address to access the uh, NGX service like this. You can, you can see that. So we can uh, see the NGX website. Cool. So yeah. all the work you're doing just works? Yeah, just work. uh, works. It uh, works well. Works well? What's the next job to do then? What's the next? Uh um, plan. Plan. What do you do? Yeah, yeah. We, well, I think we have a lot of uh, uh, works to do in the future. Uh, for example, the security, and uh, you know, the security is the top level objective of the Linux Kit project. And also, we have uh, 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 some performance improvement uh, for the, this project. Cool. And, uh,